Hey, Todd here, and welcome to another Acme Machining. Uh, sorry it's been a while since I did a video. Uh, I've been, uh, had COVID and hard to talk and hard to have any energy at all. Get winded so easy. But, uh, no, I'm back. I uh, just wanted to uh, let you know. Got a new sticker while I've been uh, recovering from uh, Tom down at Hilltop Machine Shop. I'm going to go handheld here and bring you in. There's Tom's sticker. He had a major fire yeah Tom had a major fire about a year ago uh, just about lost his shop just about lost his life got some bad burns to his legs had a fuel tank uh, catch on fire that he was trying to remove from a car so uh, I'm glad to see he's recovered glad to see his shops back uh, up and running so uh, check him out Tom at Hilltop Machine Shop. He's got some good content on there. So uh, today what we've got is, I'm going to pause this. Hey, today we've got a exhaust manifold off of Dodge Cummings. And as you can see here, we've got almost an eighth of an inch sitting there hanging underneath there. I don't know if I can get you in closer to catch that or not. There, there's a good shot of it. Nice little gap. The only thing is, the exhaust manifold gasket doesn't take care of that problem. Okay, just go over a little bit of setup here. I've got this manifold set on uh, a couple six inch riser blocks that I made out of some scrap. It's expensive to buy them, so pay them for machinists, right? And I got a little shop made jack stand there on this side. I'll try to move around here without hitting things and jiggling too much. And pretty much the same thing over here on this side. There you go. So that holds the manifold down good. Stops it from flexing. I've got a uh, Sandvik three point inch and a half inch or cutter there. So, and I'll show you what I do here. <clears throat> Just to get close. It's an exhaust manifold. You don't need to be getting out the old micrometers and dial indicators and everything else. It's here because it's an eighth of an inch out. So, just make sure I got you in frame here. I just take a drill bit. Don't matter what. Pick one. And I've raised my table out so that there just catches. I'll run down the other end. I didn't measure off the first one because I know the first one's an eighth of an inch off. That one's just too tight to roll under. And this one rolls under. So that's all I do there. Just got to get close. I'm going to clean it up with this uh, cutter and uh, see what the surface looks like. And if I want to, I'll put my big fly cutter on there and make it look all nice and shiny once I get it uh, down to within the flat surface so we'll get going here and I'll bring you back okay I touched off in the center 
Of course, this is like a banana. It's got this to it. All these manifolds usually are warped in that direction. I'm just going to go along here fairly rapid because I know I'm not going to touch anything. I touched off in the center and I took 10 plow cotton saw. Here's where I touched off. So. Running a thousand RPM. Barely touching them too. Okay, there's 30 thou taken off. Everything's cleaned up except that one that was down. And uh, we've we've taken a skim on one side. Now you can see these lines. You can see them, but you can't feel them. But I'm gonna throw the fly cutter on afterwards. Show my friend Matty what a real fly cutter is. He's got some great fly cutters. I've got one a little bigger. I guess you might say it's a bomb size, but anyway, I'm going to take another 20 thou off of this. Brings me up to. 50 thou total right now. And that's going to clean up the other edge of this. As you can see in the back, well, it's hard to see in the back. But we've got the ears cleaned off on one side, and now we got the ear on the other side. So hopefully, we'll get clear across this. And uh, just hit the rapid feed on this. 
going handheld here on the camera. Hard to do this looking through a viewfinder. <laughs> Please hit the like and subscribe button and uh, I'll bring you back as we get a little deeper into this. So there's what a 20 thou cut looks like. Can't stand here long because this thing keeps on uh, throwing some very hot chips at me. So I'll bring you back later. Okay, there's the finish we get with our inch and a half. Uh, end mill and uh, we're going to the fly cutter this is an eight and a quarter inch fly cutter shop made I can uh, extend the reach out a little bit more and get nine and a half inches out of it I can do solar heads with this thing so it's gonna give me a real nice finish here so I'm gonna put you down and I'll bring you back once I get going with the fly cutter She's all done. And there's that last one. And you can't tell that I uh, switched from uh, X to Y axis on that final cut. You can't tell at all. And I am not seeing light under any of these, so that is just great. I am going to uh, 
take the hold downs off let it relax and uh, I'll check it again I'll call the customer get this out of here so uh, thanks for watching please like and subscribe leave comments uh, I get back to everybody that comments oh makes me feel good that people are interacting so you all have a good day stay safe checking this with a feeler gauge do thou feeler gauge ain't going in there got the hold down clamps off so it's just sitting there relaxed so another good job from Acme Machining keep the customers happy keep them coming back you guys hit the like and subscribe buttons and I'll keep on doing this so Y'all have a good day.